Green Cut. First I want to talk a little bit about my thoughts, why I designed the bolos like this. If you are not interested in that, then just skip the video and go to the end. So my original idea is to make a lightweight bolo machete or bolo knife for jungle tours, for, jung for jungle trips. It is very hot so you don't want to carry too much weight with you. So I decided instead of a short heavy blade. I'm going to use a long lightweight blade. And the second thing what I wanted to do is I wanted to have uh, different uh, different possibilities to hold that bolo because I want to carve with it. So I came up with this deep finger groove uh, that makes you able to choke up on it to do fine carvings. At the same time you can hold it in a, in a regular way or if you want to, to extend the length a little bit to have more chopping power you just hold it on the very end. And in terms of survival I've been looking at that blade and I thought the tip is not very pointy. So I came up with the idea to make the tip more pointy with, uh, with the shape of a, of a bowie blade. I guess uh, that uh, the original idea of a bowie blade was uh, to make a uh, an blade that is for chopping with, with a not very pointy tip to make it more pointy to be able to step with it. And uh, when you look at that shape, you have almost the blade got almost the same shape as a bowie knife, except that this area here is not cut off. So. At that point I came up with this idea to make basically a bolo with a bowie blade. You have all the opportunities, you can hold it in a regular way like this. You can hold it at the very end to extend the length. You can choke up on it to do fine carvings. And you have a pointy blade so you can step with it. But if you make a long jungle trail, jungle tour, and uh, you want to clear the trail and stuff like this, probably that bowie, uh, that bolo bowie is not long enough. So that's why I came up with another design with this one. I saw one like this on a local market, but of course not in a full tank construction. And um, I was I was fascinated with that blade because. I saw with all of those jungle guides that came with me on, on jungle tours, they didn't bring a big and heavy blade. They always brought a long and lightweight blade. Because if you, if you want to chop a, a vein that is hanging in front of you, you need velocity. So you want to have a long blade and if you do that many times, you don't want to have a heavy blade. So long and slim is the right thing for the jungle instead of short and heavy. And uh, I was fascinated by this design because it's long and slim, not very heavy, but a very good chopper. But of course I had to change it to make it, uh, make it full tank construction. They are hand forged. So um, if you are interested in one of those, be aware that they are not perfect, they are not industrial made, they are all completely handmade, hand forged and uh, the handle is all completely handmade from a piece of wood and um, here in the Philippines it's, they are not absolutely perfect like industrial made ones. But that doesn't matter because my basic idea is uh, to make bolos 
to be, to be used instead of the wall hanger. And if you use it, you are going to scratch it up anyways. So it doesn't matter if it is perfectly made or not. As long as everything will work. And that is the case. Everything is made in a proper way, so it will hold up. The next idea was about the carrying system. I was not very happy about all of those uh, Molly military carrying system. I'm not a military anymore, so I don't need all of that stuff. But I want a comfortable way to carry uh, those bolos. So I actually came up with this design with some, uh, say, let's say, hooking device with some space to carry it under the belt. Just like so. This is quite comfortable to carry. You can still move it around. But it's a firmly tight fit under the belt and it's easy to get the blade out. And in case you want to sit down and it's annoying you, it's very easy to pull it out. That's all. I have a few more bolos ready for sale. These two here are basically the same. This one got a typical bolo style blade and this one got a bowie style blade. They are both in a full tank construction uh, made out of high carbon steel that comes from old broken leaf springs from trucks. The Bowie style one got a bony wood handle and the Bolo style one got an iron wood handle. That iron wood is really hard, it's really tough to work is, with it and it's hard to make a handle out of it. And also still available is that long jungle machete. Also in a full tank construction made out of high carbon steel uh, with an iron wood handle. They all come in that typical wooden cheese with a belt clip so you can easily slide it under your belt. And what I'm really interested about is my new prototype. Uh, it's basically the shorter version of the, of the survival bolo. But this one is powder coated, a black powder coating. And it got here a second edge on the tip. But I'm not sure about the, the heat treatment at the moment, so it's only a prototype. Uh, I have to test the, the heat treatment now and I want to see also how fast, how quickly the coating wears off. Obviously the coating will not last forever, but uh, I have to check it first if it works or not. And that will then decide if I, if I will make some black powder coated blades or not. Um, if you are interested in one of those bolos, please give me a personal message and I will reply to you shortly. And as always, thank you for watching.